Delaney Lemons just showed up and blew a kiss to him. You don't think that Bryce and Delaney Lemon, right? I, I checked. Bryce and Delaney Lemons. You, it really be the ones you trust. Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to the wheel spin of Doom challenge. It's becoming certain doom filled right now because my screaming babies. Can I just point out though, Yumi was in the toilet for a very long time. I don't mean to like make fun of her or anything, but she was there for a while. I don't know what she was doing. Don't play with soccer balls near babies. Yumi, if you don't put my baby down. Okay, I like you. You're a nice girl. Where did she go? It's 1130. What do you think she's up to? Oh, she's back. Okay, interesting. What? You can't- Okay, well you brought a freak vampire man into my house. At least Bryce is here. Will he take care of the baby? <laughs> That's an important question that I, I honestly sincerely doubt, but we'll find out. Have you considered- uh, Get out of my room! Oh my god. <laughs> I need to lock my door for everyone. Allow access to... Um, just the household? Lock, you know, lock door for everyone but Harper. I probably need to, like, allow access to Bryce. Why won't he take care of the babies? If you're gonna be here, can you at least change their diapers, Bryce? Okay, I've got a wheel to spin. I know we, we meant to do that in the beginning, but I got distracted with my, my babies and my screaming. <sighs> okay. You know what? Yumi hasn't done anything exceptionally bad yet, and, and Bryce is my problem, so... <laughs> I think Harper is probably having a little bit of trouble with her, you know, newfound singleness, given she's been dating Bryce since she was like a freshman in high school. They were together for a really long time, and I think that her being apart from him is probably kind of hard. So there are three options on the wheel today, all sort of related to Bryce and to dating, even though I said I wouldn't do a dating wheel today because she needs to take a break from dating. But listen, she's desperate, okay? When does she have class? 9.30. Okay, you know what? I might- we don't have a shower right now, by the way. <laughs> Um, but today there are three options on the wheel. Number one, Bryce gets a new girlfriend. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Number two, we could try and run back to Bryce out of desperation which I think wouldn't end well, but we could see what would happen. Or number three, she could join a club to try and start meeting some new people. It's kind of like online dating, except um, we don't have that. So it's it's get together dating, where we just make a club of single people and, and see what happens. <laughs> okay, your kids are both miserable, so you need to feed them, and then we'll go to class. I was gonna have her eat on campus, but I don't know if she'll be able to even. <laughs> I don't think we'll have time before class. My class starts in an hour! I'm not gonna have time to eat beforehand. This is terrible. Okay, let's spin the wheel quickly. I don't know what I want to have happen, so we'll just wing it and see, because I'm scared. Two. Wait. Run back to Bryce in desperation! Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay. I was kind of hoping that we can make some like horrible new girlfriend for Bryce that she hates, but honestly running back to him, or at least trying to run back to him, that's kind of fun. I think it won't end. I, don't, I think it'll end badly. I think he's gonna be like, ew, get off of me. But maybe it'll work. These two have a real rocky relationship. They're just back and forth. Okay, you came to class with me. We're going to class. You meet. We're, we're going to class. That was the whole point of me coming here, was to go to class. Quick, grab some food. Order some fruit and yogurt parfaits. You can eat it before class. You've got time. Thank you. Okay, there's figure painting on Thursday. We should go to that. Oh, go to class. Oh my god, I'm late. Oh my god. This is your first day. You didn't even do your homework. You're late. You're a fool. Cool. My roommates all paint red. I gained a total of 81 simoleons from each roommate. 81? 81 simoleons? Okay. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. We'll take what we can get. This is unbelievable. Where this? That's so useless. She reached writing level five. That's not bad. Dylan, I probably can't come over. I'm doing my homework right now because I'm a, a studious person who's, who studies. I want to at least try to see if she can finish it, but I don't- she didn't. Okay, well- Oh, she did finish it. Oh, I didn't realize she actually did the homework. That's good. We need that. She's not doing very well in school right now. <laughs> Honestly, we probably should run home so we can be with our children, <laughs> but also- just knock out all of our homework because she has a lot to do. I want to be caught up for tomorrow and then we can invite Bryce over and see what happens. I'm very excited, can you tell? <laughs> and then when we go to figure painting on Thursday, hopefully we can get some like, who are you? Preston Prego, you look scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but is it art? Critical thinking about art. Let's do that homework assignment. <laughs> oh, I, my kid is crying and I- Oh, you're gonna do it on Yumi's desk. The roommate has been taken down. My household has filled all the roommate slots. That's good. Potential roommate, Harry Goldman. You- What are you doing in my house? <laughs> I, I filled the roommate slot. Oh, Bryce came over himself. Interesting. Okay, so they pick up the babies, but they don't 
change their dirty diapers. I see how it is. Will Bryce change the baby's dirty diaper? You know what? If it's game night, can I buy a card table? I think that would be a fun way for us to like rebuild our relationship with Bryce. We could put these chairs away for, for the evening and then we could use some of our, our chairs from this and then we could play cards together. Okay, no, Harry Goldman, you are not gonna live here. You have to go. Play cards with Bryce Taylor. It's game night. What can you not? Oh, cute. Oh, she stopped. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you can serve some vegetable dumplings up then. We still haven't finished our homework. And I still need bright. Oh, he left? Oh, the roommate's got a new boyfriend. That's not the same guy as before. Yumi gets around. I mean, good for her, but like the girl works fast. Oh, my dad's here. Yeah, you can come in. <laughs> Will you take care of my babies? This is really important. <laughs> I need help. She's doing homework in her kid's room. <laughs> it's cute. We have to write a term paper. We can do that this weekend, I think. We also need to do homework for the visual world, art and literature. I'm sorry, I know you don't want to do this right now, but like, I don't make the rules. Poor girl is so tired. <laughs> she works too much. She works too hard. Don't touch my baby! Because of you, I didn't get to take care of it properly. <sighs> Oh, it's fine. Sorry. You know what? Lock door for specific sim. Yumi, don't come in my room. I'm gonna lock this door for everyone but Harper too. I I refuse. Stay out of my house. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. I forgot. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm locking this door for lock door for everyone but Harper in this room too. You know what? You're not welcome in here. So does she have class today or not? I might just go about my day assuming not. Oh, Nelson's good friends with me now. That's great news. I'm gonna try and appease the gnomes. Uh oh. No, 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 I'm sorry. Plead for forgiveness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh dear. Please? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, gosh. I've made a grave mistake. Okay, I'm fine. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna sell all those gnomes immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna put my uh, tables back. We can put the card table away. You know, we can put it outside for now. Just leave it there so I don't forget that I have it. <laughs> I was gonna see about buying a decoration box for us. See, we can rummage for some fall decorations. We could put some little fall leaves on our table and in the kitchen, and then we could put a duck somewhere. Good. <laughs> You know what we should do? Let's invite Bryce over for the day. She's taking a soak. <laughs> yeah, we should have had an 8 a.m. today, but we did not because it's Thanksgiving. So thank God that would have been a nightmare. Bryce is here. What a guy. Hey, buddy. Discuss world peace. Knock, knock, joke. Recite love poetry. You know, the whole nine yards. We'll see what happens. He's talking to my roommate while she eats stinky food. I'm re <laughs> She's trying to recite love poetry to him. Oh, you could so seriously embarrass yourself right now. Be thankful to him for Harvest Fest, first of all. That'll be good. Wait, he's feeling flirty. Make a flirtatious joke. I love that she's doing this just right in front of Yumi. Like Yumi's in the bathroom, they're in the bathroom. Everyone's flirting. Is he flirting with Yumi? Does he feel flirty? because of Yumi or because of me? I feel like legitimately concerned right now. Sing about Harvest Fest. <gasps> Wait, it worked a little bit. What if we just try to kiss him? Poor girl, so desperate. Oh, <gasps> they kissed! Delaney Lemons! Delaney Lemons just showed up and blew a kiss to him. You don't think that Bryce and Delaney Lemon, right? I, I checked. Bryce and Delaney Lemons. You, it really be the ones you trust. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> I thought for sure that the two of the... You know, we thought that maybe we could get with Delaney Lemons. We thought that we could date Delaney Lemons, but no, Bryce gets her first. Whatever, you know what, whatever Bryce. Look at the little smug look on her face too. Unbelievable. Okay, Bryce, while you're here, maybe at least cause you're here, you can clean the house for me and clean your baby's diaper and feed your babies and talk to them because you barely know them and that's bad. And then Harper, she will take this opportunity to cook a grand meal, a turkey dinner. Is her vegetarian? Wait, no, she's not, we're fine, okay. False alarm, guys. Don't worry. Should I invite over her other family members? Like her sister, Anna, our ghost grandma, Riley. We can invite over Grandpa Flynn. Delaney is not invited. <laughs> but Mindy and Dylan can come over. Maybe Aaron, too. The, the whole family. Hey, I heard you and Nelson Vanderbilt are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Our friend Nadia said that to us about our son. We should have brought Nadia over. I didn't even think to have... What is he wearing? Okay, what is grandpa wearing? <laughs> Who let him do this? That's so funny. I, okay, you know what? I am not at all surprised, but I am indeed horrified. Oh, he can't get in here, that's why. Everyone, I have made turkey. Now eat it. I can't believe, 
<laughs> we invited the whole family over. Oh, Flynn can meet his great grandson and daughter. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. Oh, wait, this is really awkward. Okay, I think Kat's hitting on me half, but like what's cooking good looking? It smells great in the hallway. What are you cooking and can I have some? I'm great company. Kat's her stepmom. Like that's her dad's wife. And we invited everyone except like we invited our other stepmom, we invited our mom, we invited our dad, grandpa's here, sister's here, even Yumi gets dinner, but we didn't invite in Kat. You can join us, Kat. I'm sorry I didn't invite you to Thanksgiving. I feel kind of bad now. That, that's kind of mean. We also have three half siblings from this side of the family that we barely know. Like she has these three, like she's got Philip, Tiffany, and Kinsley are all her half siblings and we just don't even know them. They had triplets. Can you believe it? I feel like a great host right now. I'm really proud of her. You're doing so well, Harper. You hosted your first Thanksgiving at your house. You didn't really do much for it, but um, you tried and you also tried to get Bryce to date you even though he's <laughs> he's with Delaney Lemons now. Well, he's not with, okay, the thing is he's not. He's trying to get with Delaney Lemons. Let's joke about old times. Honestly, let's just really embarrass ourselves. Recite some more love poetry. They all know we broke up and she's out here reciting love poetry to Bryce in front of her family. I mean, that's really embarrassing. Like really embarrassing. Oh, Liam is, did I call him Liam? I might've called him Liam twice. Liam is not him. So for some context, this is Liam. Liam was Flynn's father, but he's dead. So Meredith, her best friend was Liam. And then Meredith, this is Ricky, but he's missing. And then they had Riley and then Riley started dating Flynn, who was like her childhood best friend, except then they hated each other because he was like a bad boy. It, <laughs> I'm sorry, the, my old Let's Plays were really bad, but I'm sorry if I called him the wrong name. It's not my fault. I've been playing with these Sims for a while, okay? Oh, he did change the diaper. Good. It is about time that you did something useful. Do you know her family? Sing about Harvest Fest to, your, to her sister. Do you know her mom? You don't, you haven't even met her mom or her grandpa. Oh my God, you got some work to do here, Bryce. These people are like, they're your family now. Maybe not by your choice, but it's too late for you. You're in this. Oh, grandpa's leaving. Sorry, bye Flynn. Sorry, your wife is dead. <laughs> See, I I, pa I turned aging off, so Flynn won't die. I didn't do it just so he wouldn't die, but like I did it and now he won't die. Whereas all the rest of my Sims, um, they could have died. He would have been dead. Like, I think Flynn's got like one day left, but that's okay. He's not dead and that's all that matters. <laughs> Let me clean up all the dishes. Oh, you know what she needs to do? <gasps> Wait, it's Thursday. Did I, mi I missed figure painting. I'm such a dummy dum-dum. I was planning on going to figure painting on Thursday and I forgot. She needs to take five photos. You know what we could do? Honestly, I'd be willing to buy you a tripod. We could take some family photos with a tripod. That could be nice. It's a little expensive, but we can get a little tiny baby boy camera and then we could um, take a picture of Bryce and Yumi. <laughs> Um, well, wait, I'm sorry. We can just cut Yumi out of this picture because that's funny, you know? Boyfriend and her sister <laughs> who have the same haircut. <laughs> wait, I forgot her sister's name. Listen, we adopted her sister like right at the end of the Let's Play, so I don't remember who- Anna, that's right. I was gonna guess Amy. But that's not right. <laughs> But it's fine. She was a late addition to the Let's Play. I didn't play with her that much. She was a child back then. It's not my fault. I got my five photos that I needed to take though. This could be nice. We could get some pictures that we could hang up everywhere this way. This is the only way that she's ever gonna get any art on her walls. I mean, she could paint. She is a painter, <laughs> to be fair. She is a painter by trade, but she's not really doing much painting now, is she? Can you take a picture with Bryce? I haven't done any homework yet. That was the whole point of this. I'm gonna sell these. Oh, 152. You wanna go to a concert in an abandoned warehouse? Mother! <laughs> she just see a rat. Is that the problem? I don't have time for rats right now. We haven't had any like stinky apartment problems just yet. We've, we've gotten real lucky, huh? <laughs> it's now late and I didn't do any homework yet. I'm a big giant dummy dumb. I need to buy a shower too, huh? I should have bought one a long time ago. You know what, Bryce? How about you crush these people for their party? Oh wait, that's her father. <laughs> They're having a party. They're having a Thanksgiving party that I wasn't invited to. Do you think he didn't know it was her dad? I'd like to think that he didn't know it was her dad. Well, we call us a good neighbor. Oh, that's good. I'm glad he thinks I'm a good neighbor because I'm not. Yumi, stop touching my children. Are there roaches now too? Are you serious? Where are the roaches? <gasps> roaches. Bryce, eradicate them. Oh, is that another turkey? 
Oh, Yumi made a chicken! Oh, good, Yumi, you don't often do much to help, so I, I appreciate that. <laughs> no, Bryce, can you get rid of the roaches, please? Bryce, I'm dead serious. If you don't get rid of these roaches right now, I will cry. Did it work? Thank God. That is the only useful thing about boys, <laughs> is that they'll get rid of bugs for you. He's also staying here really late. I don't know. I wonder why. <laughs> no, they're, they're not gonna get back together. I know the wheel told us to try, and we did try, but I think we also did fail. Can you obliterate this rat next? That might have worked. Okay, she finally finished her homework. She She's got class super early in the morning. We haven't done anything yet. <laughs> We're doomed. Oh boy. Bryce is still here. Oh, that's a stinky stink in the floor. Bryce. I don't know what to do about that problem. <laughs> it won't let me click on it. So I guess we just wait until it gets worse and then, oh. Now Bryce can click on it. Maybe Bryce can complain to the landlord for me. Will the landlord show up at 4 a.m.? Oh, he will. Buddy. There we go. Well, mopping, it's- you don't mop carpet. What? You- Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's totally, completely fine. I don't even care at this point. You know what? Live your dream. So we have what? Two term papers and two final exams. We can write the term papers this weekend, so that'll be good. And maybe on Monday we can go to figure painting and I won't forget about it. I will forget about it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What do you what do you think he's still doing here? Oh, speaking of which, hang on. So she's got a bunch of points. We already have Always Welcome and Night Owl, but I was thinking about maybe getting another one. I mean, something like Creative Visionary, where we'll, we'll, we can create more masterpieces this way. That might be super useful for us. We're gonna get rich so quick. <laughs> maybe if I move this, he'll actually take care of the problem with the roaches. Excuse me, Vince. There are roaches right in front of your face. Wait, he's getting them, get them, get them. I think he's getting them. Honestly, Yumi's not a bad roommate. I mean, she's fine. She lives here. She she hangs out. Sometimes she's got friends over, but like if anything's a bad roommate, it's us. Like <laughs> we we are a real problem. Okay, thank you, landlord Vince. Appreciate your help. <laughs> Listen, I know the wheel tried to get us back together with Bryce, and it has been nice to have Bryce around and to have some help with the kids and stuff, but if I'm being honest, like, I mean the man's moved on, and I think Harper, she misses him a lot, but the relationship wasn't working. And you know, it's not worth trying to, to force it again. And I think she's kind of realized that, you know, I mean, he stepped, he slayed on the couch last night. Like he's just here to help with the kids sometimes and that's totally okay. They can co-parent just fine. They, they just shouldn't coexist <laughs> as a couple because that, why did you put a lamp up there? That's really weird. She's like, make sure you clear some space for my stuff. And she just brings two lamps. That's, I didn't even notice that. You're a freak, Yumi. <laughs> that's the worst thing she's done is bring lamps. Okay, but I think on that note, I am gonna end this part right here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and maybe even and offer some suggestions for horrible things that could happen to us in future parts. I should clarify, I know that my tree is still up and it's gonna be up for a while after Christmas. Um, it's currently this 21st of December for me, I'm recording this. I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks over the course of Christmas and I'm pre-recording. So like, you're gonna see this tree for a while, like all week until I get back. Um, but next weekend I'll fix it <laughs> once I get home. I'm just not home right now. So it's Christmas time for me, but I don't wanna hear your mockery, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> okay, I don't know, bye. I'm starting to feel like we've got a handle on things and that's a bad sign because as soon as you feel comfortable in this challenge everything gets destroyed and I feel like Harper she's got things under control and that's not a good sign for us at all.